What is up guys, welcome back. For those of you who do not know what this is or who I am, my name is Jacob, this is Punning for the People, this is my YouTube channel, so welcome. Today, I have gone for a walk into the wilderness. We've been here a couple of times, it's just around from where I live in Germany, in Neuhof. I've tried to make a pact with myself that I'm going to go outside and go for a walk at least once every day and I'm gonna pick up my camera and take it with me. If I shoot something, I shoot something. If I don't shoot something, that's fine. If you guys wanna come along for the journey, please consider subscribing to the channel. Today, there is a meaning for the walk because I wanna go up this hill like we did last time to go to Wilgata because there's some really exciting news waiting up there and some not very exciting news. So come along, enjoy the nature and I'll see you at the top of the hill. I've arrived at Will Gatter and it isn't a trip to Will Gatter without trying to say hi to my good old friend Earl. Last time I was here, we couldn't get him from the corner of the cage. He was talking to another chicken or rooster. So I'm gonna try and get him over, say hi to Earl, because everybody loves Earl. What's up? What up? Hey. Long time no see, buddy. Okay, check this out. This duck's hair is basically what my hair looks like right now because of the whole situation. I haven't been to the hairdresser in months, and this is what it's probably going to look like when I get to a hairdresser. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright And so a question probably people are asking is like Jacob why are you why are you at Will Gatter again? This is like the third time this year that I've been here. Number one, it's close. And number two, I think the best way for me to chill and relax, like I mentioned in my video two days ago, is to hang around animals. There is nothing more relaxing and more chilling for me than to sit there and watch animals, play with animals, or even just film animals. So that's the first reason we're here. The second reason we're here, I'm gonna try and show you in a second. Hopefully I can. And then the third reason we'll talk about in a minute.
Look how tiny you are. Wow, look. That's my hand. Look how small they are. That's my hand. Wow. So that is one of the reasons I brought you here to Wilga today because the pigs had piglets. Baby pigs. I saw a photo two days ago they were born. I think there's two of them that's been hogging all the milk because they were running around like crazy. The other ones are super little. There's ones that are like smaller than the palms of my hands. That's how small they are. And as soon as I heard that there was baby pigs here, I had to come, I had to look, had to obviously show you guys as well the new baby pigs. That's the first reason. The second reason isn't so fun. So many new baby animals since last time. There's baby guinea pigs, baby rabbits, baby goats, baby sheep, baby pigs, and I think there's even some baby birds. I don't know, but it's crazy how much Vilgata has changed when it comes to the animals in the last, what, two, three weeks? Unbelievable. So the other reason, the other reason a few people might already be thinking, I mean like Jacob, it's been three days. You've vlogged three days in a row right after you said you needed to take some time off to you know just settle down because you had no time and you were busy and um and that comes to the third part of this video which is the bad news the bad news is unfortunately due to the situation in germany and basically all over the world i now have a whole lot of free time on my hands just like the baby pigs because i don't have a job anymore my hospital can no longer be done um due to the circumstances so um as of this week i am now kind of unemployed obviously it's a weird situation to be in but uh yeah i've got a whole lot of time on my hands right now that's why i'm trying to get back into vlogging trying to give myself something to do so i don't just sit at home and waste my time and waste my day and feel sorry for myself and is it a disappointing thing yeah obviously i enjoyed my job i thought i was pretty good at it i enjoyed the hand handwork side of it and the people that i worked with were great um obviously it's just the way it is you know you can't control these things sometimes you just got to make the best of a bad situation which is the reason why I'm out here vlogging basically every day since I got the news making the best making the best of a bad situation so what does all this having no job mean for me now I don't know right now I've obviously still got a visa because I'm here for football at least that's what I think but obviously if football was to not happen I know they have uh, told everyone that it's going to happen from September till November but if anything was to change inside those circumstances I'm I don't have a job I wouldn't have a visa I'd have to be on my tourist visa or I'd obviously have to go home it's a little bit play it by ear it's a little bit hit and miss at the moment but the best thing I can do is not stress too much about it hence why I'm making all of these chilled videos and you guys can feel sorry for me you can not feel sorry for me you can uh, be disappointed or upset just like I have been through the mixture of emotions with everything happening but at the end of the day another job's gonna come if it happens it happens it means that there's something maybe better or greater around the corner I don't know I'm not a psychic I can't tell you what's going to happen all I can say is I'm going to go and roll with the punches and there's no reason that I should be down on this it's already happened it's done nothing can change it I am also still in my German course, uh, the part that I am now runs for another six weeks, um, so I am still doing that as well, so not all of my time is going towards vlogging and not all of my time is wasted. So yeah, I am now an unemployed Australian living in Germany, part-time German student, part-time professional football player and uh, amateur YouTuber, so everything's looking up, everything is coming up Millhouse. And that's really it. I butted you up with the wheel gutter, I butted you up with the baby pigs, and then I knocked you down with the losing my job and now unemployed in Germany. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe, obviously now more than ever, because I want my channel to get bigger and grow and be more popular. And I'm not gonna beg or anything like that, but I will leave my Patreon link in the description if you wanna consider joining Patreon and being a patron, please do consider that. I'm not gonna force you, not gonna beg, but it's there if you want it. But that's it guys, until next time, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, don't feel too disappointed. But my name is Jacob. This is Bunny for the People, and I'll see you next time very soon because I have a lot of free time now. Bye.